This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're drinking some Foley Brothers Centennial. It is an India Pale Ale brewed with Citra and Centennial hops. It is 6.7% ABV. It is brewed in Brandon, Vermont. They do tell me to drink it fresh on here. However, there is no date on the bottle anywhere. I'm thinking it's probably, it's been in my fridge for about a week and a half. I bought it not this past Saturday, the Saturday before. Um, and it was the first time I've seen it in Connecticut when I did buy it. So it had to be reasonably fresh, probably only a couple of days prior to that in the package store. Now that doesn't mean, uh, doesn't mean that it wasn't sitting in a, in a distributor somewhere for a while, but I'm thinking it's probably no more than six weeks old. I'm hoping not. That's the problem with not having any freshness date on the bottle. The other issue is Bowley Brothers, is, they're part of a winery up in Vermont. I have done uh, a couple of the reviews of theirs. Their Fade Ma Fair Maiden is really getting good reviews. Um, the Native Sun I reviewed, that had a good review. Don't know anything about this one. I haven't seen any reviews on it. Um, Rate Beer and Beer Advocate seem to give it a pretty good score. I just glanced at them uh, when I was Googling Foley Brothers trying to find out more information. Don't know a whole heck of a lot, a lot about them or about this particular beer because like I said, there really isn't anything in the website. There really isn't even a website. So let's give it a crack. We'll give it a pour. We'll see what we got. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments because I love talking about beer. Almost, almost, not quite but almost as much as I love drinking beer. So let's take a look and see what we got. First off, I would say this is unfiltered, minimal carbonation. I would say it's probably not forced carbonated. I did do a very unaggressive pour, a very weak pour. So I only have about a half a finger of slowly off white head that's dissipating reasonably fast. And color wise, I would give it a Actually, I'd probably call it yellow. Would call it light yellow. Would call it dark yellow. I probably would call it yellow, like a um, so. So let's do the aroma. Really, the citrus really coming out with this. I think it might be fresh, because the few other citrus I've had recently have been a little bit of myth. Um, but I'm really getting like orange and grapefruit and a hint of pine. And maybe just a slight hint of like saltine from the mall. But like I said, I'm really, really picking up the orange and the grapefruit on this one. The tropical, or I shouldn't say the tropical, the, the citrus type fruits that you expect from a citra hop. Let's give it a nice little taste here. So, yeah, okay. So I get a little bit of that saltine that I mentioned earlier. And it finishes fairly sharp. Uh, you, uh, I don't even know if I can come up with the right word, but like a little bit effervescence on the back of the tongue. It's got more of a lager type finish to it than it does to a lot of ales. You don't taste that citrus right up front. Like I said, you get a little bit of cracker, and get a little bit of um, a little bit of bitter, and then all of a sudden, I really taste the orange. It comes in late in the taste. Yeah, so cracker. I probably say I say bitter. Might even say grapefruit rind. Then you just sit here and do 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 and go, oh, where did that lovely orange taste come from? It's a nice, well crafted, with nice flavor of beer. It, it, it's not, I'm not, I don't, I'm, again, I'm not trying to knock the beer here. It's not exciting. And I don't think it's designed to be exciting. 
it had nice aroma, really nice flavors. Um, Subdued is not the right word, but just what you'd expect to be in the beer. Tastes very, very good. Yeah, I don't, don't really pick up the pine. It just go through it one more time. You know, you get a little cracker. You get some bitter in the middle. You get a little grapefruit rind in the middle. You get a nice taste of orange on the back of the tongue in the end. It's got a little bit of that sharp effervescence flavor on the tongue. It does finish kind of dry. And it's just a nice drinkable beer. If you were out for dinner, you would be very, very pleased if somebody gave you one of these. It's not gonna, it's gonna give you flavor that you enjoy, but it's not gonna overwhelm you. It's, it's, it's not a knock your socks off. They're not trying for it. It's, it's not a, a thousand IBUs. Uh, um, we, we've wet hopped, we've dry hopped, we've semi dry hopped, and then uh, we, we ran the cat through it. No, it, it's just a really well crafted, quite drinkable beer. Um, score wise, Probably just the way it sounds. Well, it's a solid, solid B beer. Really drinkable. I would love to drink this again. Uh, so we'll give this one, and I want to give it a little bit better than just than a flat B. We'll give it a B plus, 88 out of 100. So until next time, keep drinking.